because the boys stuff for some food. Oh. And after that, yeah. Um, and then we have uh, a lot of other animals. Yep, she's finishing the, the rat. And I will continue on with the story later. That's the little rat. Kimara, do you want to come and claim your, claim your prize? Ooh, here we go. That's a cute little rat. That is cute. I've seen a lot of rats in New York City Natural, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this, one's this one's way cuter. This one's way cuter. Ooh, and she has some details on. All right. Ooh, because it's a New York City rat. <laughs> My rat's gonna need a slice of pizza to go with that. That's true. That's true. All right. the tiger, right? Shu niu hu, right? Yeah, the tiger, yes. All right, after tiger, um, and then two, the little rabbit, they hop, they run, right? And you know the story about a rabbit race versus a turtle, right? So the rabbit won, all right? And then that's Long, the dragon, all right? Oh, here's some culture uh, immersion for you. In Asian culture, dragons are not evil, just so you know. They don't sit in a cave. <laughs> They don't breathe fire. They're actually the most auspicious animal in Chinese culture and in most of the Eastern culture. And that's why you'll see embroideries of dragon actually on the robe of the emperor or empress in Chinese culture. Among so many dynasties, yes, they have the dragon embroidered, embroidery on their clothes. That's why. All right, and uh, it's actually a fictional animal, it probably derives from Shu, which came right after him, all right, so the snake. So dragon is a cons concept of a uh, fiction animal derived from Shu, but uh, more capable of that. It, it flew in the sky, and the, the story has it saying the this uh, dragon was supposed to come first, but he stopped to bring some rain to the village to save the year, right, the, the crops and everything. All right, um, oh, she's waiting for me, so what else? Sounds like we are currently in the year of the dragon. Yes, right. that's right. Can we do a dragon right now? All right. Yeah. So, okay, on the bone. Yeah. All right, let's do a dragon. Yes. We're actually in the year of dragon. Yes. What does that mean? What's the significance? Yes. Let me tell you about the dragon. Like I said, it's the most auspicious oh, animal in Chinese culture. So it represents prosperity, fortune, and luck. So that's why we attach so much importance to this year. We believe that people who is diligent, hardworking, will achieve a lot in the year of the dragon. All right. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very important. And the dragon is super hard to draw uh, because it's a fictional animal. So it has the ear of the reindeer, it has the body of the snake, and it has the face of the horse. And it ha look, actually has little feet as the phoenix, or as you say, chicken. So it's really hard to draw. It's gonna take her a little bit time to do the dragon, the paint of the dragon. All right, and this year, you'll see a lot of kids doing dragon dance because it is believed that if you see the dragon dance, it brings you good luck and fortune. So that's why for this year's Lunar New Year celebration down in Chinatown, Flushing, and many other places, you'll see people not, do, not just doing lion dance, but the dragon dance as well. Yeah, that's why specifically for this year, a lot of people going around doing the dragon dance. And let me give you another example. Uh, you know about the upcoming, uh, it's called the Rice Dumpling, which is the Duan Wu Jie, the Dragon Boat Festival. It falls on May the 8th for this year. Yes, um, sometimes we race the dragon boat. Not a snake boat, not an ox, ox boat, a dragon boat. Because again, 
Dragon is the most important animal represents prosperity, good luck, and the superiorness of the power, culture. Power. And it's very powerful, yes. All right. Try not to use that word. Powerful can sometimes be ambitious, but yes, you're right. Yeah. The the like I mentioned, yes, it's for the empress and empress. Yes. All right, and she's doing the body of it. Yeah. Ooh, that's very, very special. Right, she's doing the tail of it and the body. And yes, like Lena said, um, it's like the kings, ki queens, empress, and empress. They all have costumes, not costumes, like robes, right, with the embroidery of uh, dragons on it. And mostly for empress, um, it's, sometimes I joke about it, the spouse of the dragon, the phoenix. We believe that dragon and the phoenix, it goes together. So, Long Feng Cheng Xiang in Chinese, right? The dragon and the phoenix would bring you the most auspicious marriage. And that's why when people get married, you'll see a painting of the dragon and a painting of phoenix together put on the, the door of the Chinese house. That's why. All right. Ooh, she's finishing up with it. All right. Oh, she's going to do the, the, the feet, the claws. All right. Cool. As I uh, was telling the story, uh, yeah, the dragon. Uh, supposed to flew over to the finish line first, right? But he actually stopped to bring some rings. And then after that, it comes in the horse. All right, so dragon, snake, and then <coughs> horse, long she ma, the horse, right? You travel all the way, and then she comes in after the horse, all right? Um, don't translate that to goat, <laughs> but yeah, we usually say it's a sheep, right? As in biblical stories, sheep are believed to be very pure, innocent, right? And uh, very sacred animals. And then Ho, the monkey, after that, that's the monkey right over there. And then the rooster. I did that, I said that already. I said that already, yeah, I said that. <laughs> the sheep, I said that already, all right. And then, <laughs> All right. Um, after that, how ji go ju the roosters right over here. Ji right, that's a rooster. Go, that's the dog right over here. And lastly, comes in the pig. Like I said, it's stuffed out. Stuffed with food. Yes, I'm not sure what he's eating, but it must be good. He <laughs> gave right the placement for the food. So uh, in Chinese, it goes shu niu hu. Hu, long, she, ma, yang, ho, ji, go, zhu. Of course, you understand that because I saw a commission dog. <laughs> <laughs> you understand Chinese? All right. You just need to understand the boar part, the zhu the, the part. Yeah. All right. Cool. And I have a little question. Do you know how many like claws the dragon would have? Go aim a little higher. Not four. Go aim a little higher. All right, six is a very auspicious eight, number in eight, Chinese eight. culture, right? No, eight. eight is a good number too, but not eight. Twelve. Uh, Twelve is a little bit overkill, but. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said eight already. Ten. 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 It's a nine. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a nine because people believe nine goes with a cloud. So when Chinese people saying someone enjoyed this so much, it would say, uh, right, like, right? So nine is connected with cloud, sky, auspicious animal like dragon, all right? But we definitely love six and eight, right? Because it brings your fortune, money, and that's why, yeah, Chinese people say, right, like making money. All right, six and eight can be good, but dragon has nine feet. All right, cool. And oh, there we go. She's do, she's finishing it up. All right, cool. Where should we put this? Where should we put this dragon? Commissioner Dawn, where should we put the dragon? At the entrance of, <laughs> at the entrance of the Exactly, we have to figure out how to display this, right? Maybe you should purchase one of these little holders. <laughs> <laughs> At the check-in table, we have a whole. I was gonna say, is there one? Yeah. You take well, it. You can take it. Yes. You, you can oh. take it. We'll leave it to you. Would, would you need like two sticks for that one since it's a lot bigger? That's a great question. Are you an engineering major? No, I just want to make sure that we <laughs> want to make sure it's secure, right? Awesome. Yes. Um, she's actually aiming it diagonally. So okay. now going straight on like this diagonally with a, I would say, 30 to 45 degree angle. Yes. Right. And she's just waiting. 
She's just waiting for this to cool all the way down okay. because, it, like you said, is a really huge piece, right? Otherwise, it's going to bend halfway through. So there we go. Awesome. Ooh, are you ready for this? Behold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, behold. <laughs> All right, fine. Third time in the charm. I'll say it again. <laughs> yes. Behold the dragon. <laughs> So we do celebrate Lunar New Year differently uh, in different countries. Like for Chinese people, usually we have a big get together dinner with the family and friends. Uh, for the north part of China, usually we eat the dumplings, which in Chinese, jiaozi. But in the southern part of China, usually eat the noodle, mian, right? We eat the noodles. So uh, because you know, China is kind of a vast. Uh, land, so that's why we celebrate things differently. And then for Korean people, they eat the sticky rice, which is the nian gao, the sticky rice, yes. And for uh, Japanese people, they do celebrate that. Uh, I heard from my Japanese friend with a little hot pot, with some sake. So different ways to... Sake. Sake, yes, that's why it's the best. I love that brand. Um, and yes, for my uh, Vietnam friends, they would do... Uh, some sort of dumpling as well. And do you know that even for food, they have different meanings to it. So noodles are long, right? You know, you saw those Chinese noodles, ramens, right? Long, so it represents longevity. So usually we present the noodle, at least in my family, we present the noodles uh, in a beautiful bowl and then to my grandparents to wish them longevity. And then we serve fish, right? Which means you'll always have something sort of left you're not spending everything in this year. You always have something, uh, some fortune accumulated for the next year. So, nian nian you. All right. We also have um, dumplings, right? Dumplings brings good luck and fortune, especially to Lena, who's from the northern part of China. You love dumplings, right? Yes. To celebrate anything, you would eat a dumpling. And sometimes we put a coin in the dumpling. Not every single one of them. Maybe in one or two dumplings. And then in your family, whoever got that coin believed to be the luckiest one for the upcoming year. All right. So that's why a lot of kids are trying to eat more and to get the coins. So that's a very good uh, dynamic in between the family. And for uh, after that, we want to talk about something like why we attach so much importance to the Lunar New Year, right? Because as I said, uh, China is a agriculture country, right? Especially in the old years. So it's very hard for the family to actually take a rest and to enjoy with the rest of their families. So when it's winter, when nothing's growing out there, they take some time to prepare for the Lunar New Year. So it's like Christmas, if I may, to use an al analogy, it's like Christmas in the U.S. or in the Western countries, right? You just calm everything down, sit down with your family, have a big feast, enjoy yourself, tell some jokes, have some wines, just to enjoy. So it's really a time throughout the year that you can sit down and look at each other in the face, in the eyes, and to enjoy, to just chillax, to really enjoy what you've achieved in the past year. All right? And that's the importance of the Lunar New Year. And that's why you see a lot of kids, they're very happy during the Lunar New Year because that's when their mommy and daddy give them the red envelope, home bomb, which contains your pocket money. Yes. So that's why, right? But my mom always collect my red envelope. <laughs> She's like the IRS. She's like, give me that. <laughs> I love IRS. I'm on record, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if I'm going overboard, can you? I should tell me. It's like, yeah, shush. Okay. 
Yeah. Thank you. And um, so, shall we keep on with the drawing? Yes. Any other animal signs? Rooster. Rooster. Yes. Rooster. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh, she told you to hold the dragon up hold. Like up straight. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. You gotta hold it like a scepter. <laughs> a scepter from the pageant. Because, yeah, because the warmth of your palm is gonna.